people aren't quite sure how to respond to this shirt. And I think there's something about that that I like. It sort of embodies me in a way. I think often I'm not too sure how I come across. I'm like, you know, just a little odd. There's something not quite right about it, but something extra special and unique at the same time. Welcome to Hanger Management, where we explore our closets one thought at a time. Hi, I'm Carrie Scott, the founder of the Soul Selfs Framework and the author of the upcoming book, Buddha's Closet, Cleaning as a Path to Enlightenment. And I'm here in my closet today to share this shirt with you. I gotta give you the, the full tour <laughs> of the shirt because it's, it's kind of extra special. There's pockets and this drapey bit in the front and then uh, there's this little button right here that used to have a little crystal in it and it's just a really interesting cut and <clears throat> I love the olive green color as well so there's a uh, there's a whole huge backstory to olive green and pink or like coral those colors together in my life and I thought I thought for a long time that they sort of defined me I think if if there was two colors that I could attach my identity to it would be coral and olive green but in recent years I've been you know beginning to explore that um, in more depth there's a whole story that doesn't belong to me per se in in relation to these colors but first before I tell you that story, I want to tell you a little bit more about this t-shirt. So pull up a chair and let's get started. This shirt I bought many, many years ago from Winners, actually. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it was before I had children or after. Anyways, it was some time in the past, I'm going to say 15 years. and. It's been a staple in my wardrobe pretty much ever since. It doesn't not make the cut for my seasonal wardrobes very often. There's something so fascinating about it and really unique. I have never seen another t-shirt or shirt that's draped in the same way. You may have noticed like the, the large draping in the front that hangs down and it's cut like this is all one piece here. So I'm like, I'm super curious what the, the pattern looks like and how somebody designed this particular shirt. And then there was like this really extra special little bit about it where this button at the top here, and I'm pretty sure I still have it, but it came with an extra button to replace it. So this one had a little crystal in it and the crystal has since popped out. But I think somewhere in my collection of buttons, there's actually a second one that I could swap it out with. And it just gives it that little something, something, right? A little something extra, a little, little sparkle. <laughs> but it's, it's so, it's so fascin fascinating to me because of, of its uniqueness, because of the cut. And I think like, people aren't quite sure how to respond to this shirt. And I think there's something about that that I like. It sort of embodies me in a way. I think often I'm not too sure how I come across. I'm like, you know, just a little odd. There's something not quite right about it, but something extra special and unique at the same time. And then the fact that it's got pockets as well, like nice deep pockets uh, makes it super, super functional. Cause it just like hugs me right at the hips. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a t-shirt, but the sleeves are just um, cut right into the fabric. So there's actually not actual, you know, extra sleeves that have been sewn on. So, I mean, I could, I could talk for hours about all the different sort of design features and, and why I love it. But um, I do want to tell you a little bit about the backstory of the olive green and the coral combination and uh, how how I really identified with those two colors and that color combination for a really long time. And it goes back to probably, well, maybe even before kindergarten, but definitely there's a, there's a point in my life in grade six when I was playing 
uh, the girls volleyball team in elementary school and this girl this young girl that I had met probably prior to kindergarten she just lived a couple houses down down the street from my house her name was Molly and um, we we were friends before I really understood what it meant to be friends and then I was reminded of Molly in this grade six volleyball tournament because she had since moved to another school and then her school was coming to play our school in this game and I kind of had an eye out for her and I think someone must have like reintroduced us and and she wore this amazing olive green and pink outfit with I'm not sure if you remember this or not, but I think it was probably like Cotton Ginny, one of those stores in the mall at the time where we would get our slouchy socks from. And she had a combination of two slouchy socks layered over top of one another with the olive green and the coral. And it's funny as I say this, how important that outfit was that she was wearing to my grade six self and how it impacted my personal identity over the next 30 years, right? Like somebody else's outfit made such an impact on me that I actually thought it was me in some weird kind of way. So I essentially idolized Molly at this point in my life because of what she was wearing and the like aura that she had and the confidence that she just brought with her everywhere she seemed to go. And then moving into grade seven, we moved to a different school for grade seven. She ended up being my locker partner for the beginning of the year. And I was over the moon, happy about this and really, you know, wanted to make an impression on her and kind of solidify a friendship that I, I thought was possible. But I made the fatal error of pretending to be somebody that I wasn't in order to impress her. And that was the demise of that relationship. She was really into, I, I wanna say she was really into music and, and bands and she had an older sister and I had an older sister. And my older sister was also into the same sort of music scene that Molly was. And so she had a few posters similar to the ones that my sister had in her room. And I, I talked to my sister and she gave me a couple and I brought them in and put them in our locker. And when Molly asked me about them, I mean, the, the gig was up at that point because I had no idea what I was talking about. And uh, she shortly moved in with a different locker partner. So Molly, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I did really idolize you and I'm, I'm grateful for, you know, what you brought to my life and have taught me about, you know, being true to myself. <laughs> and, you know, olive green and coral are your colors. I love them too, but now I understand, you know, the true meaning behind my love for that. It, it's not really me. It's just a part of me that you inspired. Let's put it that way. So that's the, the long backstory behind this particular shirt and the colors and, and the way I love to wear them. I, I have enough olive green and coral in my wardrobe to just have my entire wardrobe olive green and coral. And I have actually pulled all those pieces at one point and put them all in a tote in case I ever decided I wanted to just embrace that entirely for, you know, a month or two at a time. I have yet to do that, but um, like I said, this particular shirt just keeps making an appearance over and over and over again in my wardrobe. So thank you so much for listening to my thoughts, one thought of one thought at a time in my closet. And I, uh, I hope if you uh, enjoy this series, you've subscribed and like this video. If you haven't already, please head over to my website to join the waitlist for Buddha's Closet, where I uh, talk in in more detail about some of these items and and how you can step by step create your own seasonal wardrobe 
by cleaning your closet. And there's so much more to be said about Buddha's closet, but um, I'll, I'll keep talking about it in the next video, in the next video, in the next video. So thanks again for joining me. Awareness looks good on you.